Welcome friends. In this video I'm going to be going over uh, some of the more finer details of this current setup in finer detail. So I'll start with the arrow. I'm just going to go over kind of um, what exactly this arrow is in case you're looking to kind of replicate this setup. This is a Carbon Express Game Slayer, it's called. Um, like I said, this although the, the company is Carbon Express, this is an aluminum arrow. So Carbon Express Game Slayer Arrow. I bought this from Mills Fleet Farm. I'm sure you can find them on Amazon and a couple other places as well. The Carbon Bow Arrow that I used as the tube that the bolt slides down is a Carbon Rebel 6075. Um, I'm assuming that a 6075 arrow, I don't know too much about arrows unfortunately, someone if you know in the comments and you can feel free to correct me, but I'm guessing 6075 is just the type of arrow uh, and I'm assuming any 6075 arrow will probably have the same outside diameter as this so you probably don't have to buy the exact uh, Carbon Rebel 6075, I'm guessing any 6075 arrow would work. Um, so now to get into the, the few modifications that I did here, um, I'm actually going to take this barrel off here so we can get a better view of, of some of the work I did here. Uh, so I'm going to get a little closer here and uh, sorry about the slightly shaky camera work here, I have to do this holding it. So um, hopefully you'll be able to see this in the uh, video, but I'm going to use part of this carbon arrow here to show you. Right here, until right where the tip of the arrow is, is the original brass. There you can hopefully see it a little better. So this was the original outside diameter up until there of the brass tube. Um, and then I had to take it on the lathe. You could also do this obviously by hand um, just with some sandpaper or something along those lines, but I had to take this uh, outside diameter down in order for the uh, 6075 arrow to slide over it. It was um, just a little bit too big outside diameter. I tried uh, actually drilling the inside of this out with a quarter inch uh, drill bit and I, I did a bunch of stuff and nothing worked until I was able to uh, turn that outside diameter down on the lathe. So had to do that. This next part I'm going to show you is uh, images of some of the lathe work and uh, just drill work that I did to some of these fittings. So the first one I'll show you is this part here and here's a picture of it. So there was a ridge on the inside of the fitting that made it so that the brass tube could only go down just very slightly into the fitting and that's the way that they're they're normally made, manufactured. They have a ridge that prevents the tube from sliding all the way through the uh, the brass fitting. Uh, so what I ended up doing is getting rid of that ridge so that the barrel could slide all the way down uh, into the furthest part of the QEV without interfering with the movement of the diaphragm. And the reason I did that is to decrease, uh, well it was a twofold. One of the reasons was to decrease the uh, dead space. So now instead of having all this dead space before the barrel, uh, it's just to go straight into the barrel. Uh, the other reason is it was a restriction in the airflow because it was uh, necked down, it restricted your airflow. Uh, okay, so now we'll go back to a video here and this chrome plated piece here actually screws into the QEV and what it it, you'll see you'll see it in the picture I'm about to show you but what this is is it goes into the QEV and then the uh, diaphragm actually seats up against it and you can see it here in the picture this is what it looks like on the inside where you can't uh, see it in the video and same thing this was uh, a very very tiny hole um, and I ended up drilling this out to just a little bit I think it was uh, 3 16th something. It was just a little bit under a quarter inch and it was significantly smaller than that. 
I would have went to a quarter inch because that's pretty much what everything else is. Um, but the issue was the diaphragm in the QEV is so tiny that if I would have drilled it out that far, there would have been no area for the uh, QEV to seat against. So, uh, AKA the QEV wouldn't have worked any longer. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, stay tuned for my firing demo video. All right guys, hope you enjoyed, take care.